Welcome here to more Talk at CB and welcome back to the channel today guys and this right here is a video that I didn't expect to do and I'm not just talking about today I'm talking about ever because in today's video we're going to be discussing Lionel Messi being whistled by his own fans, not by opposition fans, because that's happened plenty throughout Messi's career, given his magic against their teams. But no, we are talking today about PSG fans whistling and booing Lionel Messi, and we've got to talk about it. We have got to discuss this, because in my mind... It's shameful because PSG were indeed in action on Sunday afternoon there in a home game at the Parc des Princes against Bordeaux. This, of course, was PSG's first game since their elimination from the Champions League in midweek to Real Madrid, when, of course, they gave away a two-goal aggregate lead after Karim Benzema's hat-trick sent them packing in the Champions League. And, of course, after that game, naturally, there was always going to be criticism of Lionel Messi. There was always going to be criticism of Neymar, the big star names of PSG, but I think what you have to look at after a defeat like that, especially the way that PSG capitulated as a team, especially defensively, I think what you have to say is, from top to bottom there, there are some serious problems both inside and outside of the club. However, when it comes to Sunday's game in the league, of course, PSG waltzed their way through this game, three goals to nil, they won it very, very easily, as you'd expect, of course, in Ligue 1, but... When the likes of Messi and also Neymar as well, it has to be said, Neymar was one that was really singled out today. Whenever they were in possession of the ball, whenever they got on the ball, when it stopped with them for a few seconds, the boos and the whistles around PSG Stadium, they really came out in force. PSG fans today were well and truly targeting both Messi and and Neymar Jr. And I just can't believe that. I could not believe my ears, actually, to see that Messi in particular was being singled out in that way. Because, like I say, the elimination from the Champions League, it was a team performance. It was a very much a team there that gave away that lead. It wasn't about Messi missing a big chance or Messi blowing it for PSG, anything like that. Because you'd say there, did Messi gif Real Madrid the ball for the first goal there like Donnarumma did? Was he in the midfield that let Luka Modric waltz his way through for the second goal? Or did he basically assist the third goal in the way that Marquinhos did? And the answer to all of those questions is absolutely not. Messi was at the other end of the pitch. PSG, the big problem for them was they couldn't defend, not from kickoff. They couldn't defend base moves from Real Madrid and that's what sent them packing from the Champions League and you know what you know what really angers me about these whistles and the boos the way of Messi today from PSG fans because obviously it's after that defeat in the Champions League it's not about Ligue 1 people will say oh well Messi hasn't performed in France he hasn't done well in the French League no he hasn't you know he hasn't scored as many goals as we'd expect but PSG fans don't care about that they know they don't need Messi in the league Messi knows they don't need him in the league they're running away with it they'd won the league before they even kicked off at the start of the season. No, PSG fans are angry about the Champions League, where Messi, don't forget, has five Champions League goals this season. One behind Mbappe. He's their second highest goal scorer in the Champions League this season. But that is why they're whistling Messi. That is why they're booing Messi. And the unbelievable thing about this is, it's almost like PSG fans are acting as though, oh, before Messi, before Neymar, we were dominating Europe. We were absolutely winning everything in the Champions League. We weren't giving away leads. We never crumbled. Without these two, we were at the very top. What planet are they on? PSG, as a club, have never won the Champions League. Never, ever won that title. So who are they now to sort of act big and high and mighty and say, oh, without Messi, without Neymar, let's get things right here. It's not the fact that Neymar is there or Messi is there that you haven't won it. You have got problems from the very root of your club, which is not the fault of Messi. And not even close. But then again, you will have people justifying these whistles and these boos. And people will say, oh, you know, he's acting as though he doesn't want to be there. You know, he's not really giving his life for this club. He's not playing for the PSG badge. Again, what planet are you on? Because no, he doesn't care. He doesn't want to play there. I don't really understand here why that's some big secret that maybe PSG are only just finding out. Did they not watch 
His press conference when he left Barcelona? Did he not watch his farewell? Did they not realise that actually Messi didn't want to leave Barcelona? He definitely didn't want to join PSG. But when he was announced, when PSG swooped in with all of their money and they said to Messi, come to Paris, you know, we got you. Don't worry about Barca. Leave that behind. Come to our club. They weren't worried about the fact that actually Messi didn't even want to go. He doesn't want to play there. He never has done. Don't think here that Messi is thinking, I want to play at Paris for that illustrious history. I want to play at Paris because I love this club. That was never going to be the case. And I don't understand why it's such a big shock that, yeah, Messi probably doesn't care. He doesn't want to play in France. He doesn't want to play for Paris Saint-Germain. And I really don't think there was any secret about that at all. PSG, though, were the ones who were happy to swoop in. With all of that money, like I say, Nasser Al-Khalifi, just like he did with Neymar, he was happy to be the hero who said, yeah, I'm going to take you from Barcelona. I'm going to bring you to PSG. Was he thinking there about the sporting plan? Was he thinking about how things were going to fit together on the field? That, by the way, is where your frustration should be going, PSG fans. That is where you have a real, real problem because you're not doing the thinking on the field. PSG were happy to accept all the extra sponsorship all the extra marketing deals that came the way of getting Messi, of having Messi at your club. Huge opening ceremonies, lighting up the Eiffel Tower. You were happy to accept all of that, but now you're saying, actually, we don't want Messi anymore. This is the equivalent here of that rich kid who's gotten all their toys, who's got the latest of everything, and then when he gets bored, when he gets a bit tired with it, he wants to just throw it away. Wants a new one, wants a shiny new player to come in, that's the problem with PSG. You can have all the money in the world. You can have everything, all the resources which they have. But you can't buy history. You can't buy tradition. You cannot buy pedigree at the very top of European football. And that is why it's not Messi's fault. It's not Neymar's fault that PSG are still yet to win a Champions League. Just look at what they did with Thiago Silva, with Thomas Tuchel. They cast those aside. They didn't want them anymore. Tuchel got them to a Champions League final. Not good enough. They threw him out. Those two went to Chelsea and won the Champions League. PSG have no respect. They have no dignity. And in whistling and booing Messi, like I said before, it is shameful. So please guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like I say, this is a video today that I was honestly not expecting to make, not expecting to have to talk about this, not just now, but ever in Messi's career. Could he have ever imagined being whistled and booed by his own fans? It really hurts and it really is a shame that it's come to this. Please do let me know all of those thoughts in the comments down below. I will of course see you soon with plenty more videos to come and let's hope later on. For a big positive Barca result, I will see you soon, but until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Uh -huh.